me before bed. So we are uh, back in the new sort of popular filming location, which um, has been on my bed uh, of late. Uh, I did see um, a comment petitioning for it to go back in front of the curtains. So I think I'm going to possibly have to go and um, do do a do a video back there. But we're back on the bed just because I really like how cozy these videos sort of feel. But the slight difference is that we've got the we've got. Uh, 
and sometimes they can go on for a long time. I've, uh, I think I once did a stint from uh, five o'clock till midnight. Um, I left for like half an hour for my tea and came back and it was just really good. But anyway, Friday I was streaming so I wasn't on the the work team school for very long. Uh, I think I, I was on till about just after six. So I, I went on for about you know, an hour and a half. And I hadn't uh, particularly drunk anything much. I had a bottle of Lefe, a bottle of Lefe gold. And it was a bit of a, it's, it's not really a story, a bit of a non-story. Um, but <laughs> me and my dad had asked my mum because she was going to the shops. It was like, oh, could you get some like, some nice real uh, golden ales that we normally drink? She comes back with this Lefe gold, which if you don't know, is a sort of uh, Belgium, I think Belgium or Dutch uh, beer, but it's quite strong. It's like 6.8% and it came in these massive bottles. Um, I'm on bottle four of them. Um, so I had one of them. And to be honest, it wasn't that bad. It was quite good. But yeah, so um, there wasn't really, um, wasn't really much on the um, goal. Um, again, it's just people just, um, just having a bit of a social and uh, talking about any gripes uh, from during the week. Uh, we then, I then sort of like came off and then set up the live stream and uh, streamed. Uh, my sister and her boyfriend came on. That was really cool. Uh, we streamed for about four hours. The stream is still actually up there um, because it wasn't too embarrassing or too chaotic. I don't think I haven't actually really gone back to check the latter stages of the stream, so I can only kind of hope that it was okay. <laughs> and then, yeah, like I say, Saturday, um, yeah, like so it was my dad's sort of uh, birthday, um, shindig. Uh, so we had a nice meal together, we played some board games. I then actually ended up on a Zoom call with some old school friends. Um, so like me and um, uh, our best mate and uh, Marcus, uh, my um, roommate, my flatmate in Manchester. We have actually done a sort of podcast together episode. Um, I think, oh, can you stop rattling? Back in, I think, September. And it was him and some of her sort of like old friends. I hadn't really, I don't really stay in contact too much. Uh, Wait, so it was really nice. Um, we played uh, Quiplash, which, if you haven't played Quiplash, it's a uh, fantastic sort of party game where only one person needs to own the game and then everyone else joins in uh, through a web browser that they can access on the phone and you get sort of like questions where you have to fill in the blanks and uh, people go head to head with trying to submit the funniest answer and it's a good laugh um, and then Sunday again um, I'm trying to think it was only yesterday but for some reason I don't know what I did on Sunday that's a good start Oh yeah, nothing really. I um, downloaded and uh, bought and installed o Overcooked 2. So me and my sister, me and my sister and a boyfriend, we've been playing a lot of Spelunky 2. I think in previous rambles I was talking about Spelunky 2 and this one. We, w we wanted another sort of Moy Blair game where it was a little bit less platformery and initially less stressful and um, from the recommendation of a mate of mine I got overcooked too. Ruddy hell, that is stressful. You basically, teamwork is the name of the game. The name of the game is teamwork and you basically navigate a kitchen but it's sort of like a cartoon where it's sort of a cartoony game and it's sort of like you work in a kitchen trying to fulfill orders. You make menu items, you have to pick up ingredients, you have to chop them, you have to cook them, you have to 
plate them up and serve them, but then you also have to, you know, wash the plates. You then have to make sure, you know, the kitchen doesn't get set on fire by overcooking the food. And then it's cool because the levels are in, like, different worlds and there's different themes. The kitchen can move about. One level we just did earlier today, after work, uh, you were on uh, to the kitchen was split in half over two rafts going down a river as so it was constantly moving and so you know, you'd have to work together to be able to access all areas of the kitchen to be able to create the orders and you can throw ingredients across to each other and it's a lot of working together and <laughs> it's actually quite stressful uh, I wouldn't say it's improved um, our relationship in terms of communication if just put more of a strain on it um, but yeah that's that's pretty much been um my weekend um it's it's kind of annoying i never seem to get as much done on a weekend as i would like to um i always want to be a lot more productive on a weekend i want to film more videos on a weekend because when I have to film sort of during the week, I'm a little bit limited to what I can film just because I don't finish work till six. Um, and then it's like having my tea. And then sometimes I might play Siege with my mates. And so that's why if I'm filming during the week, they tend to be a bit of a sort of ramble. Um, but this week, um, I'm aiming to get out a, a bit of a flip through. It's been a while since we last Uh, sort of an investment video looking at my investment strategy for 2021 I think I mentioned in a previous video and I think a few of you were interested I think a few guys are interested in personal finance and in saving and investing and all that sort of stuff I could do a video on that so there are two videos I'm planning on bringing out this week also and then this upcoming weekend um, I might stream I want to stream at least twice a month um, but yeah, maybe once a week. <coughs> See how that goes. <laughs> because, uh, again, as I mentioned before, I really want to set up a Twitch. I want to set up a, the non-ASMR gamer Twitch, where we stream uh, games, but it's um, non-ASMR, just used by my normal voice, my non whisper voice um so i'm just checking it's still recording um yeah so want to do that again i've been meaning to you now for the past two weekends and then another project that me and my mates who uh, i play siege with so two of my best mates from school and another close mate who is a mate of my mate through uni we want to put together a podcast we want to start a podcast yeah, because, you know, who doesn't uh, want a sort of millennial Gen Z or, or whatever it is uh, doesn't do a podcast nowadays. But it's sort of like the idea for the podcast is quite broad. Because when we're on Discord and stuff, um, we all have quite f um, varying interests and hobbies, but we always like, we always sort of discuss and like chat about them. And so we thought, hey, just for our own personal um, enjoyment, because if we recorded these. <coughs> and so, um, with my little sort of knowledge and experience and sort of creating content, we thought, let's put together a podcast. And so, conceptually, at the moment, um, it's want to call it something like... Um, uh, four lads and a topic flat for short um, and, and the idea would be each uh, sort of podcast one of us brings um, a topic uh, that they're really interested in explains the topic uh, or the story to uh, the rest of the group and then we all have a chat about it 
Um, I think um, some of the well, I think there'll be linked to sort of current events stuff that doesn't really get talked about. Um, some you know, bits of history. I'll probably take history angles, some science stuff, basically just interesting stories. Um, that could be sort of common um, current events. It could be, or it could be all sorts. It could be anything. Anything I'm particularly interested in. It's just an idea that hopefully uh, in the next couple of weeks we're going to get together. I think we're going to do it on Google Meets because you can record Google Meetings and I feel like it'll probably be the easiest um, sort of platform to use. So you can just record it and just see what it's like. So uh, again, hopefully to give you more of an update on that in the next, over the next few weeks. Um, but it's just a fun idea. And um, just again wanting to start making, um, to branch out a little create, um, creatively uh, from a creativity standpoint. And um, again, with the Twitch, um, and obviously just trying to make some more fun videos here on the channel, like with a scalper role play. Um, yeah, just trying to sort of not be too stagnant and uh, just stretch out. So yeah, there, that's just some cool updates. Updates are just some cool things that have been going on um, recently. Um, I was going to show this early in the video. We're now sort of 17 odd minutes in. So there's every chance you may now be asleep. Which obviously very good. Um, if you are. I slept awfully last night. I don't know why. It, I know why. It's because we were discussing the podcast idea yesterday evening on Siege and then when I was going to bed and I came up with a name and I was like that's how this is going to be a brilliant idea it's going to be like the best podcast ever and I just wanted to tell the lads I was just there the group chat going Ski 
skin are like fantastic notebooks but um, it's one of them if you're having to use it every day um, it's nice that's something cool now this is cool this actually um, um, details Frodo and Sam's journey time um, yeah from Weathertop uh, to the mines of Moria uh, to Rivendell it's Rivendell before or after Moria oh it's before Moria yeah because that's where the fellowship the fellowship was put together at Rivendell and then yeah then also Skiliath to the, uh, the stairs to um, Minas Morgul stairs of Shelob but then the tower and the black gate yeah Morgul Road oh it's Sirith Morgul <laughs> Sirith Morgul yeah escape up again the Jenny North <laughs> all fantastic movies um, and the extended editions are fantastic as well the extended edition Fellowship of the Ring is mental it's like four hours long and it's like they spend the first hour in Hobbiton Most people, but the 
time I, I'm like this anyway by the time you get here 25 minutes into an ASMR video I am particularly drowsy and I'm drifting and I'm drifting and my eyes are just struggling to stay awake every blink gets longer and longer so your eyelids just become more and more reluctant to open and you then suddenly, before you know it, asleep, and off you drift into a nice calm dream, feeling like a fantappy dozy. That's what the videos are for. So, if that has happened to you, then, well, it's time to say goodnight. Go and chill and have a lovely, peaceful sleep.